Hi, my name is Nancy Campbell. I'm the Executive Director of the Wayne Art Center and I'd like to welcome the Lower Marine community to Our Quilt Elements, our 11th International Biennial Exhibition of Fine Contemporary Art Quilts. This is a very special exhibition, one of many that the Wayne Art Center features throughout the year. And it's a wonderful opportunity to see what's happening in the art quilt world by stopping by the Wayne Art Center, Davenport, and Ethel Sergeant Clark Smith Galleries. Hi, my name is Karen Louise Fay. I'm the Director of Special Projects here at the Wayne Art Center. We are thrilled to have Art Quilt Elements 2014 here in both of our galleries. In the show, each quilt presents different techniques of how to use traditional sewing technique but with a conceptual interpretation. For instance, this is Elizabeth Brandt who's from Michigan that is behind us and it's called Random Thoughts. One of the highlights about this quilt was that she used a regular sewing machine and when we did a Meet the Artist presentation, the other artists were uh, pretty blown away that she did not use a long arm, which is one of those specific uh, types of equipment you would use for a scale of this size quilt. This year we are so pleased to announce that we were able to give $3,000 in awards to selected artists by the jurors in eight different categories. The People's Choice Award, which happened on the opening night, attendees were able to select their favorite quilt and that went to Judy Kerpich with anxiety number eight named David. The Heartstring Quilters Award which is behind me is uh, by Diane Savona called Never Enough and it actually focuses on 9-11. It's also an incredible example of how to use multiple dimensions for a quilt. This is very much out of the box type of quilt because of the trapunto in the physical hard objects used within the composition of the woman presented. A new award this year is called the Leslie Patterson Award for Best Use of Color by Beth Markle, and it was titled In Vino Veritas. Innovation in Medium Award was by Esther Bordenmizia, and she's from Turkey, so she came quite a ways and has been in AQE uh, two years in a row, and it's titled When You Grow Up One. The Greater Than Sum of All Its Parts was another award given to Jill Alt called Hostess. The Carol Lee Thrasher Vestlage Award was presented to Lois Charles, who is a Philadelphia quilter, and the title was Home of Valley Forge. The Jurors Award of Merit was presented to Elizabeth Brandt, Random Thoughts, which is the quilt that you saw earlier. And Best in Show was from Kristen Lafemme called Zygast, which was quite a kitsch and humorous interpretation of a cat and quilt. In order to apply to Art Quilt Elements, the artists need to have created their quilt piece uh, within two years of the time frame of the exhibition. They will click onto our website, artquiltelements.org, and they will be taken to a specific online site to write in their documentation as an artist in the piece that they're entering, which is a total of two pieces uh, with overview shots and detailed shots. This year we had 271 artists from across the world apply, so that was a total times two for their images for us to review. One of our upcoming exhibitions that we're really excited to have open on May 17th is our annual, eighth annual, Plein Air Festival, where again, juried artists from around the United States compete to get in, and we have 30 artists. They will be painting in the Delaware Valley, and these paintings will be of landscapes, barns, city scenes, as well as downtown Philadelphia. And a special feature this year is the Ardrossan Estate right here in our backyard. And we will have uh, special patron events behind the scenes at the Barnes Foundation in downtown Philly the following week.